speaking time tenses well good morning everyone how is it going let me tell you about tenses according to me uh, i've known 16 tenses they are simple past tense past continuous tense past perfect tense past perfect continuous tense simple present tense present continuous tense present perfect con continuous tense present perfect tense simple future tense future continuous tense future perfect tense future perfect continuous tense simple past future tense past future continuous tense past future perfect tense past future perfect continuous tense well <laughs> for um for learners maybe it's gonna be confused if you want to learn about tenses and you know guys i teach my students the basic tenses like simple present tense simple past tense simple future tense and simple perfect tense yeah and sometimes simple continuous tense present continuous tense so uh, i talk to my students that you have my, you have to know about the basic of tenses if you want to tell about your daily routines or daily activities or general truth so you can use simple present tense it's so easy guys just uh, you can you can make a structure or patterns like subject plus book one okay for subject day we are you you can say i learn you learn we learn they learn okay so you can put object whatever you want for example i learn english and for subject he she it you can use book one plus s or yes okay for example she learns english he plays football okay don't forget to put s after both one for the positive sentence and for the negative sentence you can use do not or does not don't or doesn't okay don't for the subject they we are you they don't we don't they don't i don't and then doesn't for the subject he she it or singular she doesn't you doesn't it doesn't so i just learn i just teach my students about the basic tenses that they can be used in their speaking when they want to talk about their activities their daily routine so they can use simple present tense and then i also teach my students about past tense okay it's used for uh, if they want to tell about the past actions okay that happened in the past so they can use both two okay maybe they want to tell about their <clears throat> past experience when they go to or whatever country or city okay so they can use verb to for example i went to bali last year or something like that okay and then for future i teach my students if you want to tell about the future activities you can use will or shall and then if you want to speak faster you can use be going to or gonna okay so i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna say it i'm gonna introduce i'm gonna whatever you gonna do so you can say gonna okay but i told my students that in speaking please don't think much about grammar because you don't have time to think what you want to say in english just speak what you want to speak in english and then try to <clears throat> say or try to tell that 
whatever you want to tell in English. And, you know, guys, actually, I don't teach my students grammar too much because I think the best way for my students in learning English is by learning prices. Okay, learning prices. It's going to help them to communicate. They can use it. If they know about prices, so they can speak English. Like for example, hello, how are you? How are you? So, okay, I always tell my students that please don't learn individual words like bring, um, uh, okay, whatever the individual words. For example, eat, drink. So I always tell my students that please learn prices. For example, I go to school. So don't just learn what the meaning of go, but you have to learn the prices. I go to school every day, something like that. So they can use the prices when they want to speak English, when they, ha they want to have the conversation with the people or with their friend or maybe they want to uh, meet a new or stranger new person or stranger so they can use the uh, process that they, they have learned before <clears throat> well to be honest guys i uh, i know 16 tenses but for speaking maybe you know guys i'm not sure i know all tenses for my speaking <laughs> yeah because um, i always learn by watching videos or yeah whatever videos in english so i watch and they talk that if you wanna learn tenses Yes, it's going to help you in answering the questions or maybe you want to have tests like IELTS, test, TOEFL test. Okay, but for speaking, if you <laughs> want to speak perfect in English, you want to speak with um, correct grammar, I'm not sure, guys. Even, you know, I have a friend and she told me that even native speaker make music when they are speaking English. Or maybe if you want to ask about what, uh, do you know the tenses of past perfect continuous tense? So they will be confused. Maybe what, what, what are you talking about? Something like that. Because yeah, actually the tenses, I can say that not really important in speaking, yeah. It's, it's only my opinion, guys. So it's up to you. You want to agree with me or whatever. I just want to tell you if you really want to improve your speaking skill and if you want to be able in speaking English fluency, I have learned <clears throat> from the videos that I watch. Please don't learn grammar too much and don't think too much about grammar in speaking remember in speaking guys not in writing so the best way for you to learn about grammar uh, to learn about how to speak english fluency yeah just learn phrases and yeah guys sometimes uh, the people told me that learning idiom is not important but for me it's so important so essential in speaking english because native speaker they like to use idioms when they are speaking english okay guys i think that's all about tenses so guys thank you